Yo, yo, boys and girls, we are going to start this video something a bit different today. Baz has sent something in for me to play out today, and it is not the best of notes, I must say, but this is a dedication to his lovely wife, Lou, who sadly passed away at this same fixture last season. Lou was a shrimper through and through, husband and wife couple. Lou was an incredible support to Baz, and I'm sure she'll be looking down today on you, mate. Happy to see that you are coping well and still following the blues through and through. Let's try and get the result today. Come on, boys. Come on, Baz. And this is for you, Lou. A visitor. Better not be those protesters again. It's here, finally. You all didn't believe me but here we go. Goodbye stupid HMRC. Well? Yo, yo, boys and girls, it is your board, I'm here. Back with another video for the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. Wherever you're, wherever you're watching this video from, I hope you're having a smashing day, people. Unlike me, who's been stuck on the M1 for an overnight. But it doesn't matter. Away days here. We are back, as you heard, on the M1. We are at York today at the Linear Stadium for today's match. But before we get into it, I've got to say, as a South End fan, tremendous tremendous respect for York City off the pitch they have donated over 12 thousand pounds just to our unpaid staff's cause all due to the one man at the top of the club who has ruined it from the top but for 90 minutes today we it's business it's straight business whilst i respect york off the pitch what they've done completely it's 23rd versus 24th today means business the lineups are out Three subs, Nathan Ralph, too injured to start. JD comes in for him, but we only have three substitutes. <sighs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I just don't know what to say. We've got three subs against the team we literally need to win against to get off the foot of the table and start climbing up it. Boys, let's get into the linear stadium. It's going to be a long afternoon, but fully behind the boys. Come on! Oh, sure, it was just sad. Uh... 
don't even look threatening. Didn't close it down. Good air. 1-0. All to do. All to do now. Uh, three. What? It's come to you, man. Right at all, half time here at the Linear Stadium, 1 0 down New York. I am being watched by a security guard right now in this corner, so I'm just going to continue, but hey ho. So, 1 0 down, we have had so much possession. Players like Harry Taylor, again, man, the match performance, Wes is running strings around these, but Bridge and Gus are heavily marked on these wings. York know what we're coming to do. We're trying to get out wide, we're trying to send in balls. They're sending two players out to each of our wingmen and hunting them down. One of them goes, one of them just picks up the loose ball, and it's working. They've done their homework, but it just needs that little change, that second gear almost. We've done the same thing all half out wide, try and send it in. But one time we had a shot on target from Wes is when he ran in the middle and tried to curl it in the corner. Do it more and it will work. Big second half. Come on. He's given a penalty. Oh. I thought that was going to be a free kick to us, but no, apparently he's off for holding back.
down. Nash just trying to do a one thing. Good up. Martin out. <laughs> right then all, back of the car now then. I'm lost for words really on what to say to this. Obviously it's a 3-0 loss and it's not great for anyone, but the match aside and the terrible refereeing, which I'm not going to go into aside, when you look at this bigger picture for South End United fans, we have two players suspended and if they're not appealed and correctly appealed by Tuesday, we're two players down. Colin, the keeper did not kick anything for that last 15 minutes. That makes me lead to believe he has an injury. We're three players down. And I believe Bridge and Wes, and maybe even one more, were carrying knocks towards the end of the game. They weren't on full throttle, as you would say. So we could potentially have lost maybe four at a minimum ahead of Tuesday, let alone next Saturday. We are well and truly in survival mode right now. And one man is holding this club by the throat over a couple of pennies because he wants his land to be paid for. This, honestly, today was the eye-opener, I think. I think the steam has run out for some of those players. I'm not saying they've given up at all. They've given all their worth for this club right now. Some of them, or in fact, all of them could have walked by now, but they're still here. It's, that's not me having to go at the players. It's me realising now, maybe they've realised what situation we are in, and despite blocking it out, it's slipping in. Slowly, it is slipping in and feasting away. And honestly, Tuesday night, it's going to be hard. I'm normally trying to be quite upbeat at the end of these videos, but this one really, really stings. And fair play to York today. First home win, deserved. Well done to you lot. Good manager to take you over and take you forward. Oh, but it feels good to have a nice owner as well. I'm going to wrap this up here, people. I hope you've all enjoyed as much as you can. My name's been Diversity. If you've enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. See you Tuesday night, boys and girls. Peace.